Okay, the Bush Company, AX27 or AX27 rooftop tent. Why the hell am I doing a review? Why the hell is Mr. Land Cruiser selling them? I'll give you two reasons what's happened lately that now on our website we have the top of the range, the best of the best tents available from us and we fit them. First of all, I was into my swag, some swagging, but I get sick of rolling a swag in the snow, in the, um, more so in the cold. Dubbo, minus one, I remember. So I put a rooftop tent on, a clamshell. It was an affordable one. And it sort of pulled me in by twice. I got a year out of it. It's dead. So I went to the Bush Company. I've known about this product. My mate Ruthie has one. Friends have them. And I fell in love with the AXT7. So I found out that there's not too many dealers in Southeast Queensland. You can get them up there at the, the Bush Company. But now, we're gonna fit them and sell them as well. But also, in the community, we get asked all the time, what's your rooftop tent? Can you help me out? What do you prefer? What do you guys use? So Richard and I have both started using these and we've fallen in love with them. This one's been up there for a little while. So that in itself, now we're servicing uh, our people with the top of the range. And they are the top of the range. You get what you pay for. We'll go through that. But going back, I've um, done a few tours. I've been out on the long drive for a drought. 4,000 Ks, nine, 10 nights in this one. Chance we have this together. Our eyes are open wide, focused on the heat of the battle. We sing, we dance. And then a multiple I've been on about four beach trips now, living in this one. There's still a bit of sand in it, the good life. So we'll take a look. Compared to a swag, this thing is so much more convenient to, compared um, to other rooftop tents, the quality's next level. I'll just quickly go through popping it open and show you how easy it is and how easy it is to put away compared to a swag. So this is it. Oh, look at that. We are up, we're done. You don't have to put your legs out, you can just climb straight in there. But another way to do it is one goes in there and one more comes on this side. It's that simple. And the quality of this canvas, there are a couple of other high-end ones on the market. Now these are the high-end ones You've got to start putting poles up here, crisscross poles. We've had them in here, we've had clients with them. A pain in the butt. They're really annoying. We're done. I can go in there. And the good thing about this one, pillows, blankets, um, all sorts of stuff is already packed in there. There's plenty of room in that uh, clamshell to fit other stuff. And to put it down, the same story. I've had to put it down in the wet. I drive up the road. The sun comes out, pop it back open while I have lunch, and it was dry in half an hour. This is as hard as it gets. And the strap, you just pull it down. It's not that heavy, nice and light. You get it so far, pull the side in, and the other side goes in, and it is that simple. Pillow is still in there. Off we go. They have runners and tracks up top. A lot of people, um, and you, this is all available too. We go solar power, max tracks. You can utilize the space up the top. Telescopic ladder, obviously comes with it. Folds up, fits in my toolbox. I don't even know it's there while I'm traveling. Now, I just did a big tour, as I say. Uh, out at Winton, there was a couple of us with these. We'll go and have a, a yarn to Josh and look at what happened while I was on tour with Josh and with some bad weather in the rain. Okay, this is pretty exciting. There's one thing, me testing these out on a road trip. There's another thing, talking to Josh here, who's had it for how long? Two and a half years. Two and a half years, and yep. he actually has uh, lived out of it for a lot of that. Yeah, pretty much two years, lived out of it now. Yeah, so where have you travelled? So we've travelled through, mostly up in Northern Territory, but a bit down in South Australia and then up through Queensland and out into the desert in Minka and 
stuff yep. like that. Yeah. So you've travelled in it. You're a yep. buffalo catcher. Yep. Um, so you've been all over. You ab absolutely love it. Yeah, no, nah, I love it. No, nah, it's it, the best best thing I ever bought, I reckon. So have you been through storms and dust? And yeah, so we've um, had a few storms up in the Territory. And then when we're at home and I was putting the new motor in the ute, we had it off off out the back in the garage and we had it lent up against the wall. And yep. we had about oh, near a metre worth of rain in them floods there in New South Wales. And no, it was good. It, it so you actually had it off the vehicle yeah. way, and water never never got in the no seal. Mold, never no had water. never had dust in the seal and never had water in yeah. the seal. That is really exciting. Yeah, no, they're good. And um, I keep my bedding in there. You said six pillows. Yeah, when we're up in the territory and we're always, you know, chopping and changing between jobs, and you got to have you got to stay in the dongers and stuff like that. Then yeah. Yeah, you got to carry a few more pillows and a few yep. more blankets around, so no, it's good. And it, it shuts no problem. Yeah, no, it shuts no problem and, at all. Um, well, I do notice um, one thing, even around us near the amount of flies, it's just, yep. it's, you keep it all zipped up. Yeah, no, nah, never, never get a fly or nothing yep. in there, never had nothing in there. You've been in much cold country in it? Yeah, or? we were down the snow not too long ago and... um. No, it was perfect. Yeah. I was I was hot as in there. Yeah, Need to get excellent. out of a couple of blankets. That's excellent. Let a couple of windows down. There you go. This is somebody like um, I'm testing it now. We're doing a, a probably about 13 days for me, but um, here's someone that's had two and a half years. That's yeah, no, nah, it's been it's probably the best two and a half years sleep I've ever had. Very better cool. than me bed at home. There's my testimonial. Yep, that's excellent, Josh. Thank Have a great you. afternoon, mate. You too. <laughs> okay, very cool in here tonight. It is storming and raining. I've got the um, vent open up in the top so I can shut all other doors. It's very hard to see, but yeah, it's raining. Well, it's been storming, lightning and thunder, and it's really cozy in here. It's really dry, really warm. I've got um, hanging my boots in a little of uh, the side pockets is not designed for that. You know, I've got the power points here, so I'm gonna um, charge my phone later tonight. And yeah, I'm just setting up to go to bed now. It's really awesome. Let's see what a full night of rain might bring. But otherwise, I'm pretty damn cozy. And there you go. It near flooded. Dry as a bone upstairs, and every single, every single swag was saturated. Absolutely saturated. And it's not only um, a wet night's sleep, but for these poor guys and girls trying to dry them out over the next three days we're travelling. This meant money in hotels, um, stopping on the side of the road to grab any sun we could, where I stayed bone dry. And what a fantastic trip. I cannot wait to be living out of this one at next year's uh, long drive for the drought. Another 10 days travelling the outback in the dust. Um, the majority of that travelling was in the dust, so it was uh, dirt roads, dirt road after dirt road. We don't go on the highways, we go on gazetted roads, stockman's routes, and that's the whole idea of the thing is to go out back. So this thing, when you pop it open, it's all sealed. There's a, a rubber seal here, and like Josh was saying, uh, he's never got wet. Well, it's not just the water, it's the dust too. Cars were filthy inside was nice it was me that was taking all the dust in while i'm on the outside of this thing the uh the double hinge up the front there's four of them and they're all like a double layer they are actually just go and look at some other brands when you're shopping around see what they offer up the front you also got um these side extrusions there to fit again max tracks awnings shovels they're all there to fit more accessories if you've um, already used the roof there's also um Side entrance, not for this vehicle, but depends on your, your use of this thing. You can do side entries and the struts. The struts, I was talking to them at the Bush Company and they're saying that um, they're rated quite heavy because they're built, these guys are worldwide and they're built to take a load of snow on the top of them and uh, not collapse at night. Now these tents are South African made. The R&D done there. This is a country that live touring four wheel driving camping so to have those guys make it where you've got safaris you're going to be pretty safe up here at night you know the thing's going to last because these guys live the lifestyle in south africa like we do let's go and have a look inside this thing at the quality and the room that you've got up in there 
Okay, would you look at the quality of this thing? So we have um, double doors. These are made for all climates. So this canvas is um, can be utilized. You just close it up on the inside, but if it's cool out there, you can uh, close the outside and the inside. Like most tents, you've got your nets. These are midgy proof, more than mosquito proof, so nothing's gonna come in and bite you. And also the door above me is no different. We've got the midgy, the canvas, but above that, just when it's cool to let ventilation in here so it doesn't condensate, you've got just a little air, air pocket screen up the top so you can fully enclose it, but it's really nice to open that one to let some air in, in the, in the cool weather without letting the cold in. This has a lot of pockets. It's got a lot of pockets, uh, magazines or phone. Um, as soon as you walk in, you can put um, your phone down. Now the size of some of these pockets are huge. While I was at Winton in the rain, I didn't want to leave my boots outside. I popped them off and popped them in the side pockets. It's got multiple pockets, pockets with zips, just great uh, storage. And a lot of that stuff you can, uh, again, you can leave in here when you close it. It comes with the light. Now the light is, it's got its, uh, for the mosquitoes and your normal light, your red light. It is actually attached to Velcro. There's multiple, um, it's got Velcro on the back. There's multiple, it's like a marine quality uh, carpet that's everywhere throughout the boarding, the roofing of this tent. And that way you can just put your light wherever you like during the night, move it around. But how do we keep it powered? The light stays in here. So this tent has his and hers, I call them, but it has, on both sides, it has SIG sockets and it has USB sockets. So multiple people, it, it is a double bed, so um, hubby and wife can both be charging their torch and their phone at the same time, multiple items, if your uh, battery system's up to it. It's really well thought out. And also, now that I'm sitting here, you can see what this awning does when it rains. Um, you can still keep your windows open during the rain. It has to be a gush of sideways wind to change that. But this really keeps condensation and rain off. Getting in and out of this thing, just going forward. People say they don't like ladders at night. You climb in this way, you hop out this way. If you need to pee at 3 a.m., you don't have to hang over the side. You just get in and out. Very, very simple. So I, I am so stoked now to go top of the range. There's no other way to go. Don't do it twice. I did it twice, I've done it more than twice, and I've really, really regretted it. Camping, touring, it's a lifestyle. Just do it properly the first time. Now, this car, it's uh, my daily. I take it everywhere. A lot of times it lives here at work. So if you wanna come and jump in here, crawl all over it, have a look around. You know we're in Southeast Queensland. You're welcome to come and mine's the display model. It'll be the last tent I buy for a very, very, very long time. So it'll be on here and we can help set you up in your 40, your 60 or whatever other vehicle. We've put them on uh, box trailers now. So whatever other vehicle you need, come check them out. You're gonna love it as much as we do. The Bush Company AX27.